So maybe you want to use a timeline for your interactive notebook. Um, let's just say it's a social studies notebook and um, you want to type in some dates. You can move these arrows around. You can add, copy, and paste um, to add more. You can remove them. These are, you can edit these. And um, here's where the students are going to type in the specific dates. So, gee, let's just say if we're doing the age of um, exploration, like beginning of um, exploration period, um, something like that, um, you can stretch it out. You can change the fonts, make it bold, make it um, however you want. And then another cool trick is if you want to add pictures to your um, to the movable pieces in the timeline, um, here's like a little ship. I could, you know, represents the beginning of exploration period. Um, so let's say I try to move this over, the ship doesn't go with it. Um, you can group these items together. So how you would do that is you hit the shift um, key on your keyboard and select both items. Um, when both items are selected, you right click and select group. Group is Grouping tool is like one of the best tools in Google Slides. You can do a lot of things with it. So um, that'll help you with movable pieces and then you move it, have the student move it over to the correct spot. Um, on the timeline. So, and then here's the student instructions. You can say, you know, move the movable pieces um, over, you know, on the timeline in the correct order or however you want to use that. And let me just add, I forgot to say, um, you know, you can type in the dates for the students and they can move them in the correct order or if you want them to do their own research project and figure out their own dates, they can do that as well. Just be sure to specify in the student instructions right up here. Type, that, um, type out what you would like them to do.